we were looking around and there were other customers in there. I didn't realize at the time, but all of the customers were white. Me and my dad were the only black people in there. So we're looking around, picking up stuff as you usually do in a store. And I started to notice that the lady store owner was kind of hovering around and being, her, her vibe was just off. And um, eventually she came up to my dad and I and said, you need to put that down. You need to put that stuff down. You, you're not allowed to touch it. And me and my dad were just confused. We looked around because every other person was picking stuff up, looking at it, you know. And I immediately knew what was happening and I said to her, well, why? Everyone else is picking up stuff. Why do we have to put stuff down? I'm just looking at it. I'm gonna probably buy it. She's like, no, you just need to put it down, put it down now. And she became really confrontational with us. Now I could see people in the store, like I said, it was a lot of white people and they were looking and kind of like whispering under their breaths and they started leaving the store. And I became confrontational because obviously it sparked like this rage in me as to or why we're being singled out and targeted. And I started saying, no, I'm not putting it down. Like I'm, I'm going to buy it. Why, why are you targeting us to speak about it? And I hope it's coming across how I need it to come across because I'm just in pain and I'm tired and I'm sick of it. Um, and you know, I'm someone who's mixed race. My mum is white, my dad is black. And I had a beautiful representation of what that unity meant for me. Because it, when that is, when that comes together in the most loving way, it is the most beautiful thing equal and beautiful, but that's not the reality of what's going on.